Hello chess lovers, Sonnen here and in today's video we will analyze a game played by the 8th world chess champion Mikhail Tal. Tal's opponent is Canadian chess player Duncan Sutas, Grandmaster from 1973. This game was played in 1972 in Suhumi and Tal opened up with e4. Sutas' answer was g6, black goes for hypermodern, modern defense. In this opening, black is allowing white to occupy the center in order to undermine it later. Where we can see that Tal is playing the opening humbly and instead of grabbing the initiative by occupying the center with c4 or f4 or making both moves together, Tal is only putting on the fourth rank his kings and queens pawns. And as mentioned earlier, Tal is playing humbly and I don't see, uh, at this point, I don't see any aggressive intentions in his moves. h3, bishop takes f3, knight takes f3, e6, queen e2, queen c7, rook e1, strengthening the pawn on e5, and then kicking away the knight from its nice outpost. Bishop g5, rook e8, rook d1. At the moment, white is only centralizing his pieces. Bishop a4, stopping the pawn's further advance. But then after knight c5, white is moving the bishop all the way to c2. Rook a d8, a3. Uh, well, look, in positions like this, usually white is going for this h4, h5 breakthrough, and then either exchanging on g6 or playing h6. But in this game, we can see that Tal has a different strategy. Yeah, this is something, this h4, h5 is something which I was really expecting to see. And according to Stockfish, that's really good. Stockfish suggests to go for an exchange of rooks on d8, then play queen e3, and then if b6, then g4, and then, for example, bishop h6, h4, and get a nice attack. But after rook a d8, we have a3 move by Tal. Here comes rook takes d1, rook takes d1, knight d7, bishop f4, already the pawn was hanging, knight b6, bishop d2, this time Tal is transferring his bishop on the long diagonal, c5, bishop e4, knight a4, bishop goes back on e1, knight c6. Well, this is a mistake. And better was playing knight b6 followed by a4. Uh, instead we have knight c6 and now let's see what's the problem with it. Here Tal played bishop takes c6 and after queen takes c6 landed a heavy punch. Yes, Tal went for bishop takes a5. He's just winning a pawn. Black accepted the bishop sacrifice but this is losing very quickly. There came rook d8 check. Bishop f8. Queen d2. Queen h6 is now the threat. Also, this rook is hanging. That's why black played queen c7, protecting the rook and stopping queen h6. But this time we have rook e8 renewing the queen h6 threat. King g7, queen g5. Now white is ready to exploit the weaknesses around black king. This queen f6 check is coming and then the knight uh, can jump on g5 creating for example knight h7 threat and putting pressure on f7. Uh, black played rook a7 and there comes queen f6 check. King g8, knight g5. At the moment the threat is knight takes e6. That's why black played queen d7 and rook d8. Now if, for example, queen c7, then just rook takes f8, and then knight takes e6 check. After rook d8, black decided to give up the queen, but yeah, this can't help him. Black's position is totally lost, and now we will see how the magician from Riga realized the advantage. So against the queen, black has a rook and a minor piece against the queen and a pawn. But this is not enough, moreover, there are too many weaknesses in black's camp. Bishop f8, knight e4, now knight f6 is the threat, this knight is hanging. There came a check from d1 and just king h2. And now, for example, queen e8 can be a threat. 
Sutil's played knight d3 but left the rook unprotected and resigned after queen f3. So yeah, and this is how Mikhail Tal prevailed in this encounter. Um, all in all he played somewhat passively but the yeah, black missed that bishop takes a5 move and once he accepted the uh, peace sacrifice his position went down really very quickly. Where was that? Bishop takes c6 followed by bishop takes a5. It's over. I uh, hope that you enjoyed the game and in the end let's also solve a chess puzzle where the task is to win with the white pieces. There is even a forced mate in 8 and try to visualize up to the end. We'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.